interesting. Well, let's, it's, it's nighttime, so let's just zoom through the game. So we are at a regular time. What is our cat called? Dorito? Hello, Dorito. I love that name for that cat. They're just like standing there. They're not even doing anything. It's kind of, it's kind of funny that they're not doing anything. Cause it's, they have 100% free will. Like I'm not telling them what to do. She doesn't have a job. Um, I'm really just, it's springtime. Okay, so now Dorito's doing stuff. Okay, now they're gonna go to bed. Oh, Dwayne, that's Dwayne. Hi, Dwayne. He comes over all the time, even though he lives in Solani. He comes over all the time to Newcrest. I'm like, what are you doing living in Newcrest so much? I think she's also, she's sleeping in the same bed as her mom. Aww. Dorito's just like outside. Dorito's probably like, I can't get into the house. There's like no way I can get into this house. Oh, we just want it to be daylight so we can see the... Okay, so those lighting apparently are not as bright as I thought. So we might have to add in a little bit more lighting on the back here. Just so... Oh, fireflies. I love the firefly animation over there. Look at that. I wish you could catch fireflies. That would be so cute if you could catch fireflies. Cassie's romantic. Okay. Oh. Because, like, you have a little bit, but I think maybe we should add in another one of those little lamps here. Just so there's a little bit more light on the back porch. So we'll just quickly go to lighting and add that in. Do, 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 do. Rolling stuff light. Yeah. There's orange. And then maybe we'll add in a that wall light from throwing stuff at. Oh crap, over the door. Dorito is a curious cat. Okay, glad, good, good to know. Good to know. And then, yeah, so continue to speed through game so we can get to daylight so we can see this house better. It's so hard to see, it's so hard to tour houses when it's like the middle of the night. I, my game is like still paused for some reason. There we go. I think once we get to like six or seven, it should be fine. Oh, Dorito's, oh, Dorito can go into the house. Oh no, and it started raining. Shoot. Oh my gosh. It started raining. Do I have MC? Oh, I do have MC commands in it. Season shoot. Change weather. I'm gonna make it um, sunny and warm for 10, 100 hours. I need it to stop raining so it can be. Because our house tour needs to. Like, what if we went and toured a house, like, while it was raining? That would be really sad. Okay, so you have a nice view of everything. Wow, look at that. It's got good curb appeal, I think. This mid century modern house has. Oh, gosh. Why is my. Oh, I didn't realize. Where are we? What are those over there? Huh. I didn't even know those were over there, those fake facades. What the heck? I do not play in Newcrest enough. I did not realize those fake facades were there. Dang. Wow, I really did. I'm real. I'm so smart. Okay, so let's try this again. So this is the front of the house. Looking very nice, very mid-century modern style. You got a lot of like interesting colors. If you're gonna just zoom in, you got like this nice little porch area. I love that the door is not here and that the door is like off to the side. I actually really like that. I think that looks really nice. So yeah, that looks good. And you have these nice little, you have this nice little welcoming little mat and then you like can go in here and then boom, that's the money shot right there. This is a nice, honestly, the kitchen's not terrible. I did the, the backsplash as being brick was not a bad, uh, that was a really good idea. The Discover University in the living, in this area is not that bad. Oh, look, she's got like applesauce or something. Hello, Grace, just taking pictures of your house, you know, trying to see it. I hope you like it. I know it's, it's kind of weird. You've got like in a very eclectic style home here, but I mean, I kind of enjoy it. It doesn't look bad. You have a nice big kitchen, honestly. And when I, since I added that island, I think that adds in, I think 
in spaces like this, if you have like an island, it just adds so much space. And actually, I really like this shot because like that that actually turned out really cool. Like the um, the whole sunken in living area actually looks really nice, and you have these. And because there's not because you don't have the um, the ceiling on this side, I think that actually looks really nice. And then um, you can you have like nice lighting coming through, and then you have like this really cute little area that's cut off from the rest of the house. But like you go in here, and you have these columns, and you have like this. This is not bad. I honestly am not. I don't hate this living room. This living room looks really nice. Actually, I like the living room a lot. Even though this is a cool kitchen living room with basting, but it's a cool kitchen <laughs> living room. <laughs> Which is so weird that this is how the cookie crumbled, but um, that's how it worked out. And then, so I could have added in more lighting, I think, because it's really dark. I could have added in some like wall stuff on here, but the cool kitchen stuff, like, it's just like all cool kitchen based stuff. I love her bedroom actually. It's so colorful and it's so bright. It's it's a really nice bedroom. It's really big too. The bedroom is really big. I'm I'm actually really I really like this bedroom a lot. She definitely is an animal lover and she definitely probably has a dog, but in this she has a cat. And then oh my gosh, this realm of magic bathroom. I absolutely do not like that it's a realm of magic bathroom, but it is what it is. The Realm of Magic bathroom is here. And oh my gosh, this fitness stuff, little girl's room. Or little, I mean, Grace is a girl, but I mean, it, it can be really, it's a pretty gender neutral bedroom, I think. You could have like any kid be in here, but um, you know, like she's got a very fancy light and a very, oh look, Dorito came in. Dorito's just like looking at that, being all like, huh, that's an interesting thing for a little kid to have, but. Um, yeah, and then this is what I'm interested in looking at is like if you're sitting here in the living area, how does that look like out into that little area? That looks not bad. It doesn't look bad. There's not very many skill building items I just realized in this house, but I mean, if you're in the living area, oh no, lonely recess, ask the other kids to join. Okay, well, it kicked me out. But that is pretty much the house, like, oh, okay. Oh, because I, I forgot to pause the game when I was in pad mode, that's why. But I think that's pretty much everything that I was going to do today, building this house. Like I said, you can download this house off of our gallery. Our gallery ID is the Sim Twins 14. Let me know if you have ever done this challenge before. It was really fun. It takes a while to do, honestly. And I think it's because I made this a big house. Like if I had done a small house, um, it would have been a lot faster. But I mean, I think it turned out well. It's definitely an eclectic house, but I mean, it's definitely different than all the other houses that I've ever done before, which I think is nice. And it uses a lot of different furniture that I don't really use that often. So I think that's what I like about this too, is that this challenge kind of gets you out of your comfort zone and you, you don't just you, you're not, you're forced to use things that you don't usually use. Um, like I would never have made this a seasoned kitchen, but I mean, I don't think the kitchen turned out bad. I think that the kitchen looks fairly nice. It's not, it's not a terrible kitchen. Um, and you know, it has everything you need to function as a regular kitchen. And the sunken in living area is actually really fun. I thought that was really fun. And it, I think it looks really nice overall. I mean, it's, it's weird that every room is like a different style, but I mean, I think, you know, with these big windows and everything and the nice timber, I think, I think this r house actually looks really nice. And I think this is like a really interesting house that I've done. And so um, this, was super fun. I am very excited that you all enjoyed this. Thank you for coming to my stream. Um, like I said, if you want to download this house, you can download it off of our gallery. Um, Cause we're going to be doing all of this like stuff 
uh, we're going to be doing all of this kind of stuff like in the future we're doing more challenges tomorrow Bree is going to be on here and she is going to be doing another build challenge um, she's going to be doing a shell challenge for the I think it's for the simmer group chat if I'm not mistaken and she is going to be building a flower shop that is going to be at 1 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow so it's going to be in the middle of the day that should be really fun to see what she does with that build but um, this was really fun. Let me know if there are any other build challenges that you want me to take on. Um, if you want me to like make like a YouTube video out of this so people, other people can see it. Um, I, I thought it was a really fun house. It was like it was really different. Um, was I like 100% satisfied with everything? Um, it's iffy, but I mean, I think it was, it was fun to like get out of my comfort zone to use some of the different items that I usually don't use. Instead of like making a cool kitchen, kitchen, I made a cool kitchen living area, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, let me know um, anything that you uh, think about, any other challenges you want me to take on in other streams. But it was really fun to play with you all tonight. Thank you for coming out. I'll see you in another stream. Have a good night, y'all. Bye.